But in generally, these are kind of the, the, the areas where the board is, is mandated to work with him. Again, you have all the authority and control. It's all up to you. But if you're looking at a model that has a senior executive, the, the theory sort of taken us in a couple different ways. One is that boards have three main areas. You can put more into this if you want. They set the direction. That setting, refining the overall purpose, mission, and direction of the organization. There's a responsibility there, but it's probably more accurately a co-created kind of piece. And the end, we've got some places where we can sort of chat a bit about what are the sort of areas where these things overlap. But in general, to ensure that there is a direction, the setting of it, the crafting of that direction may become from a more collaborative approach, but boards are mandated or should in terms of best practice, mandates probably a little strong, uh, the idea that you need to set the direction for the organization. So there is a direction. How that's that carried out, that's a different question. There's the idea of oversight. And this is the fundamental duty of food industry, duty of, or, of boards is they, they oversee things. They make sure that we're taking care of the or the stewardship of the assets, uh, monitoring activities, the health, the ethical behavior sometimes. So they do play that role. And that is, I think, and very well understood. And I think largely a pretty, pretty well thought out understanding of what a board does. It is an oversight role. Where this gets tricky is when does oversight become sort of involvement? And so when you think, yeah, I'm overseeing something, and it maybe it's in the eye of the beholder, I think I'm overseeing something, and maybe the perception is, no, you're getting involved in the day-to-day -day or meddling. But that's maybe not about the activity itself. It may be more of the relationship. But in general, this is the, the role of the board. You need to oversight how to do the oversight stuff. And ensuring the resources for the organization, making sure we're well-equipped to do what we want to do, that we have the people, the money, the pieces we need to carry out our mission. Again, you're maybe not acquiring all those things, but it is the board's responsibility to make sure they are in place. And one of those resources are the people. One of those persons is going to be the, the, the executive that you have working for you. And when we talk about the relationship, that becomes a key resource, which is probably not the best way to put it sometimes, for the board, is you've got a high-skilled executive that you're able to entrust with some of the work that you're supposed to be doing as an organization. On the other side of the coin, we have the, uh, the senior executive. And this can be, as I said, there's lots of terms for this. The idea this can be a um, executive director. This can perhaps be a CEO. Sometimes the incorporation, the act that you're, you're incorporated under changes the terminology. So you probably see a few more CEOs in the part nine companies here in Alberta, which are nonprofit companies. Um, you see, might see more executive directors sometimes that terminology in societies, which where most nonprofits reside. Um, but there's lots of variation in that too, and you're not necessarily locked into any one of those things. It really comes down to the style of your organization. But the senior executive, if you've got this board who's playing in this, what we call a policy governing board, where they're sort of in that pure governance role and not doing their work, um, they do the oversight, the resourcing, and the uh, sort of direction setting. And the CEO does the execution, the executive director. So the planning, directing, implementing, aligned with that direction and aligned with those resources. So the setting direction, the executing the direction, and the informing piece. There's two other pieces. There's one other piece that's really important. And this speaks back to, I believe, the idea that boards sit atop and outside the organization. For a board to do its work, they need to have enough information, insight, and do enough sense making to be able to set appropriate direction. So boards that are so disconnected from organizations rarely make good decisions. And that's one of the things that I think that informing role uh, is really important from the executive side. So whether that's through, you know, I have a board meeting tonight, so I'll have a CEO report for myself, which really isn't a CEO report, it's more of an operational update because the entire staff sort of chip into it. I just throw my name on it, you know, that kind of stuff. There we go. Um, the, uh, but the idea that how do they have enough information? But it, again, even as I'm writing those reports, I'm kind of thinking you're getting information on what I decide you need to get information on. So it is that if I'm asking you to be informed and this broad-based approach to your decision-making, I have a role in that. And so as we negotiate sort of what you need to do, what kind of informing you need, there's got to be a dialogue back and forth. So you're not just hearing what I want you to hear. Because if I give you select pieces of information, then the decision kind of heads along the path I want. And that, that is probably the biggest, the crux of any challenge in, in this board CEO relationship thing is there was a sort of, I don't know an adage, I'm not really sure what an adage is, but this is one. That either boards run roughshod over CEOs or rough CEOs run roughshod over boards, and which is perhaps true sometimes, but it doesn't speak to the power of this. They're, they're, this relationship, if it works well and when it works well, and it's going to go moving in out of this sort of zone sometimes, should be one of the most powerful sort of assets your organization has. So how do we find a way to make sure we're both staying within our lanes and bringing all we can to the table here?